Hello again, this is Brent, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Crop Rotation Plan tool within your Trimbleg software. For those of you existing users, the Crop Rotation Plan tool is a new and improved version of what you know as the Crop Planner. So let's jump in. We're going to start by going over some of the features in the top toolbar. On the left side of the screen, we have the Filter By dropdown. This allows you to adjust how you view your crop rotation details, whether it's by field, crop type, crop season, planting status, or harvest status. Just select the desired filtered option, check off your filter criteria, and click filter. A snapshot of the active filter can be seen right here at the top of the screen. If you'd like to clear the filter that you've just set, you can just click the clear filter button located to the right of the filter dropdown. The multi-select plan checkbox allows you to select and edit more than one field at a time. Just click the box and click the desired fields. You will get more into how we can leverage this tool a little bit later. Just below the multi-select tool, we have two drop-down boxes that allow you to view up to 10 years of information in both directions of the current year. Just choose the desired number of years in the backward and forward drop-downs to define your range. Now let's take a look at how the crop rotation details are laid out. As you can see, the tool is set up in a grid view. The field names and total field sizes are defined in the first two columns. To the right of those, we have the crop years and the crop plan details. If you only see a plus symbol in the middle of a box, that means that there have been no plan made for that field for that crop season yet. To add one, you can click anywhere in the empty box to add a new crop plan for that field. A new pop-out window will allow you to enter the desired crop plan details for the field. If this is a multi-year crop, check yes at the bottom and then enter what year the crop cycle is in. Please note that the maximum years allowed for a multi-year crop plan is 10 years. Now let's go back to the grid. A white box with details such as crop type, target yield, and size means a plan exists for that field and you're still able to edit the details. Clicking on an existing plan allows you to do two things. First, you can edit the existing plan details. Just click the field, make the adjustments, and click Save. Now check off Replace Old Crop Details with New Info, and click Save. You can now see that your plan details have updated. Second, if you're temporarily splitting the field for that crop season, you can enter the crop details for the split, including new size if known, and click Save. Now check Add New Info as Separate Crop Split. Click Save. Once the page refreshes, you will notice a new crop box show up below the original one, indicating the crop split was successful. You can now edit the size of each split by clicking it, and entering the new information. If you look just below the existing plan, there's a small bar with a plus symbol. For those planting multiple crops on a field in one crop year, this will be an important tool. Click the plus symbol Enter the second crop plan details. Select the appropriate order in the crop sequence and click Save. You can then see the second crop plan show up beside the original. You can save up to 10 crop sequences in one season. The last thing we're going to look at in the crop rotation grid is the lock symbol that can appear in the upper left corner. If you see this symbol, it means that you've already started running the plan for that field. Having an application entered will lock the plan to avoid any unintended changes. If a mistake is made and you want to correct the plan, 
All you would need to do is delete the application event from the field manager and that would unlock the plan. Please note that this action cannot be reversed once completed. We have just one more feature we're going to go over today. On the top right hand side of the screen is the manage drop down button. This tool enables users to do three powerful things. Add or edit crop plans in bulk, delete crop plans in bulk, and export a list of crop plans to a CSV file. We would first start by checking off the multi-select plans to allow us to select one or many fields at a time. Next, you will select the fields you wish to work with. Now select the Manage option desired. If adding plans or editing plans, the remaining steps are the same as previously shown. And if downloading the CSV, the resulting file will end up wherever you save your downloads to.